Sorry, Stop picking nose. your nose. No, my nose <laughs> ring is like, it twists up. Ew. I'm going to have to take it out. I'm real sick of it. It's been recording. Oh, <laughs> What did you say about me picking my nose? Well, no, I mean, I'm going to edit all this out. I'm okay, just saying good. that I let it <laughs> run better. for a while. <laughs> 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 okay, anyway. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Damsels in Debate podcast. I am your host, Tina. Vanessa is not here this week. She's <laughs> out out of town. But uh, we're in luck because we have my slap happy sister with me yet again who can't keep a straight face. So, everybody, <laughs> welcome, Maria. Hi. So, Maria. um. <laughs> What's going on in your life? I know you got something big coming up soon. What is it? My 23rd birthday. Yay. It's coming up in a couple weeks. So happy early birthday for you. Why, thank you very much. I am going to California. You're in a California. That's I've awesome. I've never been there. And I'm going to see my best friend. Cool. Well, whereabouts in California are you going to be going to? Long Beach and Malibu. Mm, I've heard of those on the television. And we're going to stalk... The love of my life, Brandon Boyd from Incubus. And I hope he's not listening to this because he will find out. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> if he is listening to this, then that makes him our most high profile <laughs> listener, I'd say. And I, I'm very, very excited about that. Well, when we get married, I'm sure he'll tune in. Ah, true. True, true, true. Well, it's all good stuff we're saying about him, so I don't think he'll be too <laughs> upset. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, your trip sounds a lot of fun. So I hope you have a good time. <laughs> Thanks. I will. Moving on. There wasn't really a whole lot of movie news that I saw this week, but one thing I did want to mention because I'm super psyched about the movie is that it is. I read a few weeks ago that Kurt Russell is going to be in the uh, next Fast and Furious movie, which is mm. what number seven. seven. But I never. I it, like it was like a fleeting thing, so I thought it was a rumor. But a couple days ago. Vin Diesel posted a picture on the set of him and Paul Walker and Kurt Russell. So, I mean, I guess that's actually happening. So I'm really excited about that because I love Kurt Russell and I don't I haven't really seen him in anything in quite a yeah, while. I thought, he'd, I thought he'd like retired or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm interested to see that. I mean, I was already psyched to see that movie, but now I'm even more. So, yeah, I have to see the sixth one. I know. Uh, as soon as that comes out to buy, I will buy it. And we will watch it and you will love it. Excellent. And Excellent. it will be magical. <laughs> anyway, I actually saw two new movies this week. It was supposed to be three, wah, but wah. me and Maria tried on three separate occasions to see yep. the new movie Don John, because we both like the actors and we're interested in seeing it, and it just did not work. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't work out. So um, I'll see that movie at some point, but whatever. I did see two other movies, though. I saw Rush on Monday, which is the, you know, Ron Howard race car movie. I wanted to see that, too. Mm, yeah, I had mm -hmm. to go. Somebody left me at the movie theater by myself. <laughs> well, somebody locked their keys in their car like a <laughs> jerk. So they yes. couldn't go. Marie and I were both supposed to go, but... It ended up just being me. But I will say that I really enjoyed the movie. It was very uh, entertaining. And it's actually the first movie that I've seen where I didn't watch any of the trailers. Like, I knew oh, it was yeah. a race car movie, and it was British, and that um, it was based on a true story. But that, that's all I knew. Mm. So I'm really glad, because I had no idea what was going to happen, you know, during the movie and stuff. And there's, like, real footage of, like, stuff that happens in the movie oh, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, it was cool. I got to see that stuff afterward. Or... A friend of mine showed me that stuff on YouTube. But yeah, uh, Chris Chris uh, Hemsworth did really good. You just like the way he looks. I do, but I like him more bulky, though. I like him in Thor mode. Mm -mm, nope, I like a lean. Uh, yeah, well, he's definitely lean in this movie. And then I am drawing a blank on the other guy's name. I think it's Daniel something. But the guy who played the, the other lead role, he, he did a really good job, too. I, I haven't Wilde seen him. That, right? She is, but she has a. It's, it's not a very big role. Oh, because she's like in all of the commercials. That's bad. Well, it's because, you know, everybody likes her and she's very gorgeous. <laughs> mm -hmm. So they want to play it up. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed the movie. So if you get it, it's not something you have to go see in the theater, I don't think. But if you do, you won't be disappointed. He's supposed to be nominated, they're saying. Oh, really? Mm hmm. And Ron Howard's supposed to get a director nomination. Oh, I could see that happening. <laughs> but honestly, he's ha like the other half of the movie is the other guy. Like yeah. he's in the more showy role, and he, not, you know, he plays it well and stuff. But mm -hmm. it's it's really it's it's two two people are the stars of that movie. Well, that's good. I'll have to but, see it. Yeah. Well, yeah. You should you should check it out. 
The other movie I saw was Baggage Claim, <laughs> a totally different type of movie, a uh, romantic comedy starring Paula Patton, who I think is like the most beautiful woman alive. I think she's so gorgeous. And, oh, I didn't know you saw that movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw it uh, <laughs> on Wednesday or something. But uh, this movie was very cute. It was, you know, it's really, really predictable, like all romantic comedies are. There was a couple things that made me laugh. There was one line in the movie. It was kind of a uh, a throwback to Coming to America. And I was, like, crying. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> That's funny. But, uh, yeah, I, on the whole, it, it was cute. Not something you have to go to the movies to see. Um, I would get it from Redbox or watch it on FX or something like that. But I just yeah. think it's so funny, like I was saying before, that um, she keeps being in these movies where it's like, she's not so gorgeous right it's like exactly she's clearly really exceptionally beautiful there's yeah, no way she could not get a man it's the obviously. thing like the the gist of the movie is her trying to um because her little sister is going to get married and she you know wants to settle down and have a serious relationship so yeah there is that aspect of it but you know there's a lot a lot of romantic comedies are like that people don't want to watch a movie with average looking people I guess either especially women average looking women the worst with that is that Valentine's Day movie that's I think the worst oh. that. it's like Jessica Biel it's like Jessica Biel is so perfect right really <laughs> come on that's funny well you know yeah the uh, romantic comedy is definitely in need of some tweaking I think nowadays we should make one yeah we should we should we should get on that Add it to the list of stuff we need to do. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so the movie was cute. But on the whole, I, I enjoyed both of those movies. Have you seen anything recently? Um, I watched movies? that Life of Pi movie. Oh. Because it was on okay. HBO. Oh, okay. And it was on demand, and I didn't have to pay for it. So I was like, I'm going to watch it. And Mom and our brother Doug kept saying it was so great. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'll watch it. And then I watched it, and it was, like, the best movie in life. Really? It was so good. It was, like, amazing. Everybody go watch it. I can't, like, I, I haven't seen it, so I need to watch it. But I just, I feel like, I'm like, aren't they just on a boat That's what I'm and saying. the you tiger? Think you think that. I was like, okay, he's like a kid, and he's on a boat with a tiger. Right, it yeah. can't be that exciting. No, but really, though, it's, like, so good. Wow. I was like, Dad, did you see? He's like, yeah, it has a lot of symbolism that I didn't get. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, no, it's really good, though. Like, you, I'm telling you, you just have to watch it. And yeah, it's kind I guess of almost so. religious mm -hmm. or, like, spiritual, but... Mm -hmm. And I'm very much not religious or spiritual, but it, it like, really resonated. With, I don't know, it's really good. Go All watch right. it. And then you'll be like, oh. oh but I it's see. really long, isn't it? It is, but it's just go watch uh. it. It's, especially watch it in HD, because it's okay. beautiful. Like, I wish I would have seen it in the yeah. movie theater, because uh -huh. it, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it does look very nice. Yeah. And uh, the tiger looks really uh, real and interesting. And stuff. Oh, my God. Let me tell you about how this tiger, I was. I had to look on IMDb because uh -huh. I really was like, no, this is a real tiger. <laughs> there's no way. And it's fake. It's like it really, there's like two scenes where it's a real tiger. Wow. I don't know. They made Avatar really look like like <laughs> a Nintendo game. Like, it's Ooh, so boy. good. Oh, my gosh. Just go watch it. Yeah, I got to check that out one day. Mm-hmm. So I can see what all the fuss is about. Because, oh, yeah. yeah, everybody says the movie's amazing. I just... It's amazing. Judging the by little, the commercials the, the, He's I've not seen. a little boy, but the kid in it. Uh-huh. It's like he's never acted in a movie before. This is his first oh, movie really? ever. And he's, like, so good in it. Uh -huh. And then the one who plays the older him... I don't remember his name. He's really good in it. He plays the older version of the oh. kid in it. And he, like, narrates it. It's it so good. Wow. All right, I'll I'll it. check it out. <laughs> Not sure when, but I will. This uh, for for the month of September and October, where our movies that we're watching each week are horror related movies because of mm, Halloween. No. So the movie I watched, which I apologize, I did not say on Facebook what I was supposed to watch. Tisk, I was supposed to do that. Tisk. Drop the ball on that one. <laughs> but I watched VHS two which is the uh, sequel to VHS. Oh, really? I thought yeah, in case you didn't. The third one. The Shut prequel. Up. <laughs> yes, the prequel. It's the reboot <laughs> of a movie that came out last year. No, but uh, anyway, rented that movie yesterday, and it's the same type of movie. It's like a collection of short, you know, four or five little short movies all in one. And uh, I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot more than the first one. Like, I liked the first one. I thought it was a little bit different and stuff. But there were things that I didn't really like. But this one, I, I enjoyed it. It was I've good. I've never even heard of it. Ever. Well, yeah, it's definitely not your type of movie. I don't like scary things. And it's all shaky cam. 
No, that <laughs> gives me heart palpitations. <laughs> I can't watch stuff like Wait, that. Wait, that gives you, it doesn't give you a headache? It gives you heart palpitations? It gives me heart palpitations. I don't mm. think I'm saying that word right. Pal- palpitations. It doesn't matter, but it, anyway, gives, me, yeah. it gives me them. <laughs> makes your heart feel weird. <laughs> makes my yeah, heart feel funny. Like when I listen to Skrillex, I can't do that. <laughs> Gives me a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, I can't listen to him if I have any like remote bit of a headache. Cause it gives just me a headache it. after I'm done really? listening to a song. Even when that comes on in the club, I'm like, oh, I need to go outside. <laughs> I gotta sit down. This is too much for me. <laughs> I like some of his songs. I'm not gonna lie. There, there's other ones I don't. But no. the ones that I like, I really like. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you, you definitely would not like this movie. But I did. There were a couple of things um, where they had like some like screechy sounds or something going on that were just too loud and they just went on for too long. So I know they're doing it to push you to the point where you're like, oh, my God, when is this going to end? And then it ends. But it was annoying. <laughs> it was like, OK, you know how like on Family Guy, how you don't like when they have things that run on for too long? Uh, it yes. was like that. <clears throat> but with like screechy loud noises it was like in that push movie those guys were screaming yes oh my god those guys in that movie you have to got to stop (laughs) anytime they came on screen i muted it (laughs) (laughs) because yeah i I couldn't wait for them to die in that movie but yeah i i enjoyed it there's there's a lot there's there's alien well yeah i guess there's aliens well, it's, I mean, it's stuff you see in the commercials. You got aliens, demons, ghosts. I never even saw a commercial. No, I but didn't I'm saying if you've seen existed. a commercial, I'm talking to the general public here. If you've seen a commercial for it, you see all these things in the commercial. Is it a new movie? or? Um, yeah, but it, I think it came out like only in like select theaters. Like I don't think anywhere around here was playing it. And oh, it's I now at Redbox. Why. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> whatever, whatever. <laughs> anyway, it was good. I liked it. And I think for next week, I'm going to go with Jason to wait. What are they? What are the Jason? Friday the 13th. I'm going to go with Friday the yeah, 13th part two. Because I've seen the, one the first with one. The chainsaw? No. no. <laughs> that's Leatherface. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is Leatherface. Oh. Jason Voorhees has the hockey mask and the machete. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then Freddy is the hand and the I know face. that one because Johnny Depp was in one of those. Yes, he was in the first one, actually. That's the only reason I know who that person is. His death was scary. He gets pulled into his bed. I know. I saw that part. Mm, that was the only part that Which scared me. Which is the one where uh, the Activia lady's always on it. What's her name? Jamie Lee Curtis. Wow. Curious. Wow. This is where we're at. Like, I just sounded like a 15-year-old right then. Yeah. That oh, my God. This is what we've come to. <laughs> She's known as the Activia Lady. I oh couldn't think of her name just then. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis. Don't judge me. <laughs> Goodness, now we're really gonna get hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, scratch that. Yeah, strike Obviously. that. Reverse. <laughs> okay, I'll say the True Lies Lady was in well, it. That, that's better. <laughs> um, that's Jason. Uh, no, that's Michael Myers. She was uh, Michael Myers is in the Halloween movies. Doesn't he wear a, a hockey? Well, mask? he just wears a, a white mask with like some ugly hair on it they need That's, to pick, it's not a hockey only mask. one of them should be allowed to wear a mask um this is very confusing if if you if you are <clears throat> even a remote horror fan you'd be able to tell the, you can tell the difference between a hockey mask and a just a white face. i didn't know hockey players wore masks the goalies wear masks that's a weird word masks, masks. i knew this I know, guy had dumb. a sleeve and he mm-hmm. had all the 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 villains on his really sleeve. oh that's yeah. interesting i don't know if i would personally get that but that is interesting it's cool to look at though right exactly yeah and then chucky is the doll the red did you doll. see that little picture of the little baby and it was a ba- two babies and they're dressed up as chucky and his no? wife it was so cute <laughs> i have to look at that i haven't seen oh that's adorable yeah, in a horrifying yeah. way but it's adorable. i mean it's so cute hmm all right, well, I'll check that out. Uh, I don't know where I was... Go- oh, so, okay, yes. For for next week, I'm going to watch the second Friday the 13th movie. I don't know if it's called Friday the 13th Part 2, but number two. Anyway. I'll watch one. Oh, what are you going to watch? Um, You're going to watch a horror movie? Yeah, I'm going to watch a horror movie. Oh, wait, what are you going to watch? I'm going to watch Insidious. Just kidding. What? I'll never <laughs> watch that movie I ever. Say, I have to watch it with you. No, I'll watch... Um, House on Haunted Hill. <laughs> that movie scared me when I was a little kid. That's why I had to move my porcelain dolls to the attic. And I still don't wait, know Wait, wait, are. are you talking about The Haunting with Liam Neeson? Or oh, House on Haunted Hill? That, which is the one where the girls and their little faces moved? 
And it was like, like the, the carvings and stuff. Yeah, that was the haunting. Oh, well, like in her right? room. I don't care. They're two separate movies. <laughs> <laughs> They're two totally separate movies. Well, Doug was obsessed with both of them. And, yeah, he was. Yeah, uh, we watched them sometimes. Well, I mean, dolls in general are scary. I'll, I'll give you turn, that. Remember, for sure. I had to turn them around. Yeah, Maria had a bunch of porcelain dolls in her room Why when we were younger, them? and uh, she saw part of. I guess the haunting and it scared her. So I went in her room one day and all the dolls were facing the wall. I said, Maria, what's going on with the dolls? And she's like, I don't want them to look at me. <laughs> Cause I woke up one night and they were all turned back around. I'm sure Doug. Did uh, that, but... Yeah. I was gonna say, I bet our brother did that. Cause he's just so nice. He's so, so wonderful. Mm. <laughs> well, anyway, that's it for movies. I'd say um, TV. Geez, like everything. I think everything's back now, right? With the exception of like Walking Dead and The Simpsons. I think everything is back, isn't it? The Simpsons still comes on. Yeah. Oh, they're in like I think they're going into their twenty fourth or twenty fifth season. They should just stop. I haven't watched it in a while, but I want to watch the Treehouse of Horror episode because I try to catch that every year. Mm-mm. <laughs> But yeah, this week was all the the big shows coming back. Um, mm-hmm. Are all your shows back like, on? I was just say I'm a, I'm like a human being again. Yeah. I'm out of hibernation and it's TV time. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for Marie's emotions to come out. <laughs> Speaking of emotions, um, let's see. Well, I didn't watch Parenthood yet, so we can't really discuss that too much. It's amazing. But um, Parenthood's the best show. <laughs> I like it. It's on it's good. NBC. On, on NBC. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have two more episodes to watch of Homeland. I know you don't watch that, but that comes on Showtime. And it has a ginger on it though, so I might just have. to Oh start. yeah, yeah. He he's British too in real life. He's not cute though. Weirdly, he kind of creeps me out. Something about his mouth scares me <laughs> a little bit. I don't. I don't find him attractive. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> like, how can somebody's mouth be? He has scary? like a weird like. Kind of, I don't know. He just has a look about him. I mean, he's a great actor and stuff. Just, you know, just doesn't float my boat. That's all. <laughs> kind of creeps me out, but whatever. You know who's on the show, actually? I meant to tell you this. You remember on, and I, damn it, I don't remember his name, but on um, Mean Girls, the projection room kid that she cheats, that Regina George. Oh, yeah, yeah. That kid, or oh, that guy is on the show. I think he's headed to the projection room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I like, for the first couple episodes, I'm like, I know, I know this guy. Who is he? And then I figured out. I'm like, oh, he's a Mean Girls. That's right. Anyway, he's on the show too. But oh, you know what I just realized? What? He's on Bla- on that Blacklist show that we watched. Yes. Oh crap! I wonder if he's gonna die. <laughs> oh, damn it! I might have spoiled something for myself. Or <sighs> maybe he's just on both shows. Yeah, that could be it. Because they well, film at different times. True, exactly. That's what I hope. And could. that was the pilot. He might not even be in the rest of the show. That, yeah, that, that's right. Okay, okay. We're going to go with that one. We'll go with that one, yeah. Okay. All right, well, but anyway, I have two more episodes of that show to watch. And the premiere, the season three premiere is tomorrow night. So I have till tomorrow night to watch those two. Better we go, because she wins every year at the Emmys, and it's annoying, so. Yeah, well, it is good. It's, it's pretty tension-filled. It's not like my favorite show, but it's good, for sure. I'll have to check it out. Doesn't it have uh, Indigo Montoya on that show? Yes, yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's an older gentleman now. He's got a beard and everything. He does. But yeah, he's on there. And I always think of him in Princess Bride. I love it's that movie. A good movie. Yeah, it's it's a really good movie. <laughs> <laughs> let's just wander off. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, float off on a tangent here. But anyway, um, let's see. So yeah, I got to finish up Homeland, and then tomorrow is the finale of Breaking Bad. <laughs> the series finale of Breaking Bad. Oh, and I guess it's not a woo. It's like a... It's like, oh, no. Yeah, Yeah, but anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so that's the finale of that show. I have no idea how it's going to end, but it's going to be interesting. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't watch that show, and I don't know anything about it, but I think he's probably going to die because that seems like that's how people end shows nowadays just to kill everyone. So that's what I'm gonna bet my money. Wow, on. that was nice and grim. Thank you. No, because every <laughs> show, like everybody, just everybody dies on every TV show on that's television. <laughs> yeah, because apparently, just people just die all the time in real life. Like, if did watching someone Grey's, die on your no, show? No, well, watching Grey's Anatomy, like uh-huh. spoilers well, no, no, if nobody's no, seen no, it. No, I mean, I'm not talking about this last episode, but oh. throughout the whole season. Mm-hmm. Like, not that many doctors die all the time. But it's a TV show. No, but that's what I mean. It's like, according to Grey's, like, two out of every 
class of doctors dies <laughs> in some <laughs> random freak accident. Yeah, well, I do agree that show goes a little crazy with that kind of stuff. But otherwise, you wouldn't have TV shows. Like, look at Dexter. Like, if that many serial killers all were in Miami, that, like, that'd yeah. be crazy. There'd be nobody but left then, in Miami. Yeah, then you, you wouldn't have or a show. Or maybe there is. Maybe there is, yeah. Who dum, knows? Dum, dum. I really don't keep up on Miami. That's why I don't news. go to Miami. Because mm. I haven't been there everybody's in a while. prettier than me, and they're serial killers. Oh, well. I don't mess around with that's that. That's some uh, worldly advice from Maria. <laughs> and that's been How to Succeed in Life by Maria <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that took all 30 seconds. <laughs> but, uh, oh, boy, what were we talking about here? Oh, yeah, Breaking Bad. So, yeah, I'm pretty psyched to see how that ends. Can you just give me, like, a brief, although knowing you it won't be very brief, synopsis of that show? Well, he's a teacher, a science teacher. Yeah. And he's got a family. Uh, and he gets cancer. He gets really bad cancer. And that's not what I was expecting you to say. <laughs> oh well, no that that's what it is. And that he is wants to drugs or something. Well, yeah, he decides to start cooking meth because he can cook it in such a way that it's like super pure and it's great and you know it's really really good. So he sells it for a lot of money and he sells it. He sells it, you know, and he gets the money. But he wants to save the money for his family for when after he's dead, so they can live off of it. That's Aww. the basis of the show. Does he know that meth is like terrible for people? But it's, I guess, it's highly profitable. <laughs> so there's Tina's words of advice. Um, no, <laughs> no that, that's Tina snops. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, that's just ter- people are gonna start cooking meth and thinking it's that that's like okay. Th- no, 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 because everybody. The show is like horrible. Everybody's in a bad position right now, and it's not like they're telling you exactly how to cook it or anything. Mm-hmm. Not that I would know how to cook it anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any about don't, anything about that. You kind don't of know stuff. how to cook anything. Wow, way to air our dirty laundry in the middle of a podcast. I'm not a good cook. <laughs> Whatever. You're horrible at drawing. I'm not that bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, anymore. let's let's just keep going here. Now, so we both watched a brand new show this week called mm-hmm. The Blacklist. <clears throat> the Blacklist is what it's called, or just yes, Blacklist? It's okay. The Blacklist. The Blacklist. Douglas. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> On NBC. So we're gonna spoil a little bit of that show now. So spoiler. just in case, yeah. <laughs> spoiler alert. We need to. Start Even though sixteen those. million people tuned in. Hey, 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 hey. There, there's, there's like five bazillion people that live here. Oh, so you know, okay. that, there's a big difference there. All right, and then so, the, yeah. Anyway, anyway, what did you think of the show? I thought it was really good. Yeah, I um liked it, and I like James Spader. I don't Me really too. like the lead girl. I kind of do, but I kind of don't. I, I just she don't think she's strong grow. enough as an actress. Uh huh. But then again, I like grow. that they yeah. didn't pick somebody that's well known. But isn't it not exactly like I? I'm like to my sister's like what. What is it like? I was like, it's like Hannibal Lecter meets Jason Bourne. Like that's literally exactly what it's like because, except yeah. for that he doesn't eat people. Right. You take out the 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 the, the grim horror yeah. elements and throw in action. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But the first episode was it. It caught my attention enough. Yeah. Yeah. That it made me want to watch another episode. So. <gasps> yeah. Well, I watched it because of your recommendation. Actually, like I vaguely heard something about James Spader being in a new show. But I I wouldn't have watched it. I was literally watching The Voice, and mm-hmm. then because Adam Levine has a beard this season, oh well, so I was stop like, the well, I'm gonna watch that. Right. Also, I just like that show, uh-huh. and um, sure and then did. it came on after it. Oh, okay. And okay. so I didn't feel like I don't actually I don't think I could find the remote. Oh, so <laughs> I just left it on, and then I was like, well, Classic I wanted to kind move. of watch it anyway, <laughs> so let's go. And then I liked it. Hmm. So that okay. Was good. So yeah, we'll see where that goes. It's got an interesting premise, I'd say. And I I do too. I like James Spader. Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now since you're on this episode and Vanessa it's all about is not, me. I can actually talk about Sons. Because <laughs> usually I just briefly go over it, but like Sons There's no means point. more than a brief. Right. Overview. But I mean she she doesn't watch it though. Well, she should. I know. I, I, I keep telling her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to Tina. Listen to me. I know. No, she she should she should still listen to me. She should, but if she's not going to listen to you, listen to you instead. Then listen to the me. The point is, just watch watch the show. Sons of Anarchy because it's a good show. What are you so thinking good. about this season's? Well, here, spoiler alert for what, how many episodes? Three episodes? 
right? I think it's three episodes. Three. Yeah. For the uh, sixth season of Sons of Anarchy. What do you think of this season so far? Um, The first episode, like, was everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then it it kind of has kind of tapered been, off a little. It's just a little bit slow. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this season's going to be kind of like season three, where it's a lot of setup yeah. to the end of the show. And I feel like the last half of the season will probably be really good. But mm-hmm. as of right now, I just don't like anybody. Like, everybody that yeah. I used to really like, like, I really liked Tara, and now she's, like, on my nerves. Mm-hmm. And Jax... Jackson, Jackson, you know what you did. You know what you did. And yes. I don't appreciate that. He needs a time out. You need to just stop it. <laughs> Ever since you became Christian Grey, now you're all, you don't care about <laughs> sons anymore. You don't care about your family or charming. You don't care about your American accent. Exactly. Yeah, that too. Yeah, I'm going to need you to go to a voice coach also. Yeah, because it was definitely bleeding through a lot this last episode. He doesn't care anymore. He's like, you know what? I already know I have the contract for this whole show, so I don't care anymore. I'll talk how I without want. me. Exactly. I feel like he's getting a little cocky. But oh, that's not good. That's okay. But uh, his hair is also terrible. Yeah. It needs to be fixed. <laughs> um, I don't know if, if the the makeup hair and makeup person is listening right now, but if they are, can you change his hair? Because nobody it's likes it. It's always slick back, but then like, weird pieces stick out. Yes. It just looks horrible. And it's, it's about as long as it was for a season, yeah, so just, he could just, just wear wash it yeah, and exactly. leave it alone. I agree. Whatever. But now, storyline-wise. <laughs> Sorry. I go off on tangents. What, what do you think is going to happen with Tig now? Because he was... Oh, uh, Tig's not going to make it out of this season. Whew. I can guarantee that. He he's, he deserves he's such, it. He's such a troublemaker. And yeah. now he did it again. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. I forgot always, that just happened the last episode. Yeah, yeah. He's always starting trouble. And it's always <laughs> yes. bad trouble, He too. really is. Like, Tig... I love you, but I, I oh yeah, I love him, and it's I'm gonna be sad when he goes, but he's just he's but it's like always you, a problem. It's too many excuses, and like I knew yeah. last season they weren't. I was like, well, they're obviously not gonna kill him. Mm-hmm. They're gonna find a way out of it. Which he's on did. borrowed time, but now it's kind of like, well, you kind of yeah. already had that, and you've messed up way too many times. Right, right, and, and then, he works too quickly on his emotions, yeah, and it's bad. He's trigger happy. He's trigger happy. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll be here all night. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Tip your but, waiter. Yeah, um, exactly. So I, I agree. And I think Juice is like, I don't, he's like emotionally Juice checked out. Juice is just going to have like a heart attack. Yeah, he's going to lose it. He's going to try to, I don't know what he's going to do. He's always on the verge of tears. Yeah, he's like me. He's like, <laughs> if I were on that show, I would be Juice because I always just want to cry. Wait, if I were on that Jack show, who happy. would I be? You would probably be. You'd probably be Tara. Tara? <laughs> Which makes me mad because you get Jax, but... Oh, okay. yes. This is, no, this because is you would be hard because you are you know better than to be the way that you would be. But uh-huh. you would wind up turning into that anyway. Which is, she knows better. She knows yeah. she shouldn't be doing what she does, but she doesn't anyway. But the heart wants what the heart wants. Well, when the heart is Jax Tiller. Exactly. Yeah, see? <laughs> then I'm going to follow that thing, too. Exactly. But so, yeah, I yeah. mean, and I, and, um, Gem is actually less annoying this season than she was last season. Yeah, last, last season, season she, she was, was kind of, kind of cranked to 11 there. She but, was 11. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think Nero's going to die. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because the, the, um, that guy, what's that guy's name? I can't remember his name. Donald Lowe. I don't know. He's a wackadoo, He's though. crazy. He's like a legit psycho. Yeah, yeah. See, you don't want to get psychos mad at you. You yeah. want to get, like, people who are really mean Stupid. and angry. Yeah. Like, they have been. Uh-huh. Or, like, people who are racist. You want to get those mm-hmm. people mad at you. You don't want to get a psychopath mad at you. Cause yeah. Because he's going to, like. Because he's got the law on his side. Yeah, so. which is like, how did he become a cop? Don't you have to take like a psych eval to become a cop? Well, he's like a psycho yeah, but I mean, he probably wasn't psycho when he when he took the test. <laughs> so. I feel like if you're, I feel like you're a born psycho. I have no idea. He's like I don't doing know drugs and like being naked and killing hookers. Like, <laughs> yeah, he shot that poor girl. But see, remember at the end of the episode, he was planning the mm-hmm. evidence, so he's gonna blame Nero. Oh boy. <sighs> Well, we all know he wasn't going to make it out. I'm surprised I, he even made it to this yeah, season. Yeah, I was going to say, I did not think he, uh, Jimmy no. Smith was going to make it out of last season alive. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to... If anybody makes it out of Charming alive, I think they're going to be in jail or they're going to be miserable. Yeah. I don't yeah. think anybody's going to have a happy ending on that show. 
Except for maybe like the sons. Yeah, and that's because they don't know anything. And that's, they'll probably get adopted by like Bobby or something. Like Bobby, that, yeah. who's like mm, Bobby, Bobby the Lone Ranger. Yeah, it's, I also don't care about Bobby, so I don't know why they're trying to make it like I'm supposed to feel bad that he's I, leaving. I, yeah, and like I like Bobby because he's definitely the most logical and rational and stuff. Except he should have voted to kill Clay. That I thought was stupid. But the fact that Clay is alive is astounding to me. And yeah, especially now that he's in jail, because it's like he's gonna have to like keep being give shysty. Out info. Yeah, exactly. So I, I don't, I don't know. I feel like if Doug was anybody, he'd be Clay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. That show, it's uh, like you said, it's definitely a little bit slow moving. But we're we're also only a third. Well, you know, technically three episodes. That's a quarter of a way through the season already. Don't say things like that. To me. Yeah. Well, Kurt Sutter, you need to pick it up. Just a <laughs> I, bit. I have faith in him. He I does do not too. let me down he on the show does at all. Well, except for season three. That, that was one. the Irish season? Or no, which yeah. which yeah, 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 yeah. That one was a little bit That ramped up that and was two? fantastic. No, no, no. Season two was the um The racist. racist. Piece yeah. True that. Yeah, um, then season three. Honestly, the only thing on the show that I just straight up was kind of disappointed with was the whole thing with Juice and his race, you know, him like selling out the, the oh, crew yeah. and stuff. I just thought that was, I thought there should have been more motivation well, for him to do that. Well, I thought the whole ending of last season was kind of like, oh. Well, but that wasn't oh, last okay. season. That was the season before. That was season four. Oh, man. Yeah, you're so right. So you were starting to get together. Yeah, because season four, I was crazy well, I watched them all, watching. like, in five seconds of each other. Yeah, so exactly. So I kind of get confused. <laughs> the only thing good about season three was Jax's hair and body. Mm. Well, that see, I, I like season three. There were parts of it that were slower, for sure. But Once he started making out with his sister, I was like, oh, oh my God. I wanted to kick Gemma right what? in the face. Mm-hmm. I'm like, why didn't she say anything? lost me just then. But the finale, remember where they finally got oh my God. Saul? Oh, that was That was, like, great. the best moment yeah. on television oh, ever. Yeah, I was, like, that was screaming really good. at the television like, yes! Yeah, this yeah. is the best moment of my life. And then life. what's his name? What was that guy's name? Jimmy O? Yeah, Jimmy O. Mm. Who I did not know was not Scottish or Oh, Irish no. Or I, I've, he's, he's been on American. a lot of TV shows, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But anyway, Sons is great. That's so, the, yeah, moral the, the, the moral of the story, folks, <laughs> is that Sons of Anarchy is just, it's just fantastic. It's just Peachy Keen. Peachy Keen? The peachy, bee's knees? Peach Cobbler. I don't like peach cobbler. Apple cobbler? Sure. I don't think that's a thing. I think it is. We'll make it. Apple cobbler. Yeah, that is so a thing. That's not a thing, Dina. I will look it up after this podcast. (laughs) Anyway. I'm making some when we get home. I'll hold you to that. (laughs) Anyway, that's pretty much all the TV shows, right? All the ones we really want to talk about, I would say. Mm. Can't talk about Parenthood because I haven't watched it yet. (laughs) Yes. So I think we're pretty much all covered with everything then. It's a little bit of a shorter episode this, uh, well, this, I was going to say this season. <laughs> I know. This season a on little, Dan's Debate. <laughs> exactly. It's a little bit shorter of an episode this week. But I would like to thank you very much, Maria, for filling in. It's greatly appreciated. No problem. So, and you're going to have to tweet or text me or something about. I don't tweet. Oh, you don't tweet? No. I don't really like tweeting. I don't like the Twitter unless it's. Like if I use a hashtag for a show, because I right. like to see what people say. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't use it though. I don't even log in. Oh, uh, I I don't remember my, my login information. But like if I have I have it set so if I post on Facebook, it posts on Twitter for the uh, for the podcast. I'm not talking about me personally. <laughs> I'm on the Instagram and the Facebook. The Instagram and the and Facebook. the Tumblr and the tumble tumbles tumbles <laughs> and we tumbles got lots of tumbles on the Tumblr. <laughs> It's not even funny. Why are we laughing at that? Because we're tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. We just had some food. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's hot outside. It's very, very oh hot my outside. God. Anyway, in closing, what movie? What movie did you say you were going to check out? I didn't. You didn't? Oh, I thought you did. Anyway, I'm going to check out Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, and Vanessa will watch something. I have no <laughs> idea what it will be, <laughs> but we'll be back to our normal, regularly scheduled programming next week. Thank you very much again, Maria, for filling in. You're it's welcome. greatly appreciated. And if you would like to send us any kind of feedback, uh, you can do so by sending us an email, damselsindebate at gmail.com, or you can post a comment on our website, which is just damselsindebate.com. 
nice and simple. And you can find us on Twitter or Facebook. Just search for Damsels in Debate Podcast. And you can subscribe to us wow. and rate us. <laughs> Shut up. And give us a review on iTunes. Stop you laughing at me. Is it your pigeon? <laughs> Uh, we take owls. Where have you been? Oh, you said Edwig over. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Real smooth. Is that been a moment of silence right in for the Hedwig? Feels. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Moment of silence for Hedwig. Okay. You're a mean one, Mrs. Grinch. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, we're on iTunes. You can subscribe to us on there. And we're also on Stitcher where you can subscribe to it and listen to our podcasts. And where you can also stream them off of our website. <laughs> Shut up up <laughs> i hate you <laughs> and we're on vine and wow we are not on Instagram vine. video stop lying <laughs> you're gonna mess up everybody you're such a jerk <laughs> okay we're gonna have you on when catching fire comes out and then that's it <laughs> never again and you need a full night's sleep before you because <laughs> you are just delirious all right folks until next week bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.